Hey everybody, this is FireGod522 here with my 18th hammer editor tutorial. I know it's been a while since I've made any videos, but today I'm going to show you guys how to make a rotating wheel. Alright, there's going to be a couple of ways we're going to do this. One, we're going to use a function rotating, which the wheel it will be parented to, it will rotate the same speed the whole time. And we're going to use a physics, or physics, or fizz, actually the entity is fizz axis, which pretty much, if you've ever played Gmod and you use the axis tool, it's the same thing as that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to load up Source SDK. Once we have that loaded up, we're going to choose the engine version and the game. I'm going to be using the Orange Box engine with the Episode 2 game. Now, once you choose your engine in your game, click on Hammer Editor, open it up, and then we'll get started in your level. Now, i am just made a basic wall where I'm going to set the prop on. You, however, could have this on anything you find suitable. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the Entity tool. Click where we want the entity to show up, which will be about right there. See on the grid, I have it. Or we can just plan all click. But that's off grid, and we don't want that. Okay, so with our entity tool, we're going to change it to a prop dynamic. And we're probably going to change this later, so don't worry about it. Okay, now with our prop dynamic, we're going to go down to world model, hit browse. When you hit browse, filter for wheel or whatever you want to rotate. I'm going to be using a wheel. And I'm going to use wheel 03A from Half-Life 2. Now, first, before we do anything, before we hit OK anyways, go to the info tab. And what shows up here will be what you can use. Seeing as I use a prop dynamic, you see how this is checked? We can use this prop. If I used a prop physics, we wouldn't be able to use this. It wouldn't show up and we'd get an error in the compile. So, if, if your prop you want to use is prop physics but not prop dynamic, what you can do is you can make a prop dynamic override and pretty much it overrides whatever your prop is to a prop dynamic I don't believe you can do this with a prop physics let me see with a prop physics I don't think you can set a parent You can't. Okay, so yes, it's gonna have to be a prop dynamic. If if you're like I said, if your model info has physics, then just change it to a prop dynamic override, and it will make the prop physics a prop dynamic. Okay. Now, first thing is first. I chose the wrong model that I wanted, so I'm gonna change that to here. There we go. Okay. Now that we have our prop dynamic or prop dynamic override, whatever your prop is, get that out of the wall. We're going to need to create something that will make it rotate. So I'm going to use just a normal brush and this is if you want like the prop just to be rotating by itself normally. It doesn't have to be the width of the cylinder, but I like to do that, even though it's not necessary. So you can have it like one unit by one unit, and it'll still rotate. But we don't want that. Well, I don't want anyways. So once we do is you can either choose a wood texture and then texture this to wood and then move the wheel out so it looks like it's attached onto, onto something, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. So what I'm going to do is, I use the invisible texture, that way it doesn't show up in game, so it'll just look like the wheel. Okay, now that you have that set, 
go ahead and press Control T, and it'll bring up the properties. Now, with the selected brush, after you did Control T, we're going to type in Funk Rotating. And as soon as my hammer stops freezing up. Okay. Now, things we can do in here. We can change the rotation speed, how fast it rotates. You can play around this value in game, but I generally like to keep it at 100. Friction. Uh, this is just how slow it will, or how much friction it has during its turns. Seeming as it turns the whole the same speed all the way around. I don't know why they have this, but I guess that you need it. Okay. Uh, if you have all this set up, we can go to our flags tab. We want it to start on. That way it's always rotating. We can, of course, turn this off by using some triggers and or, or a button or something. We can do this. Okay, let's make it rotate on the x-axis, which I believe is this way. If it, if it shows up like this, just uncheck the x-axis and press press the Y axis. Okay, now we go back to our prop dynamic or prop dynamic override where it says parent. We choose a little eyedrop thing and then we click on the brush and I forgot, to, I, we need to name it, I forgot about that. Rotating. Okay, now we go to parent, click the eyedrop and then click on the prop. Rot or funk rotating, my bad. Okay, now your wheel will turn with the prop, or no, sorry, I keep saying prop, but the funk rotating. That's one way we can do it. And I think how this is parented, if you stand on top of it, you'll fall through. <clears throat> I'm not sure though. I could be wrong. If somebody can prove that, just kind of click comment the video. Okay, now we can do a fizz. Axis. This is a different way. Wait, what was it? Um, oh, it's a fizz motor. My bad. Okay. So we can place this right here. I don't think it really matters. Okay, name. We're going to name this motor. Rotation speed. Um, we can leave this at zero if we want, but if you actually want it to spin by itself and then you can interrupt it later, you can change it to something. I don't know what I'm going to do. Mm, 45 units per second. So every every second it will rotate 45 degrees spin up time how long it takes to spin up in seconds now we can change our attached object we're going to the eyedropper and click on the wheel after we name it we can get rid of that parent okay we're going to do the name wheel Go back to this, attached objects, eyedropper, click on the wheel. And it should work just like that. I don't think there's anything. You can have it start on or start off. Start on would be it starts spinning. If you have that unchecked, then it won't spin by itself, and then you can push and all that. <clears throat> and, of course, you got to have your own props to do this. Sorry if that took a little long and a little hard to explain. If it was a little too difficult, comment on my channel. Or you can comment the video. Anyways, this has been FireGod522 with my 18th Hammer Editor tutorial. Teaching you how to make a rotating prop. Have fun. Don't burn yourself.